Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. I come to you today with news, such great news, that you have been waiting for. I, I suspect you've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. Every day I wake up, I check the YouTube comments, I check the Twitter comments, the Facebook comments, the Telegram group, everyone is always saying, we want two things. Number one, we want more Linux laptops shipping with KDE desktop instead of the GNOME desktop. And yes, I finally said GNOME, I'm working on it. Uh, and number two, we want AMD Ryzen 4000 in our Linux laptops, please. Laptop gods, give us this. Well, both of those wishes, both of those things you guys have been craving are happening. So in a nutshell, KDE and Slimbook are teaming up to release the KDE Slimbook 3. And this is the third generation of this laptop. And if I'm not mistaken, it might even be the first AMD Ryzen 4000 Linux laptop in the world. This is an excellent, excellent Ultrabook. This is the uh, Acer Swift 3 with Ryzen 4000, but they don't ship any of these systems with Linux and it doesn't so far run Linux especially well. So if this is anything like the past two generations of the KDE Slimbook, it'll ship with KDE Neon, which of course features the beautiful Plasma desktop. And this time around, however, man, the hardware, the hardware is so much better. I'm just gonna read, um, read some of the specs here. Uh, I just got this in. I wanna point out that I'm launching this video as the embargo lifts. If you're watching this, you should be able to actually visit the, uh, the KDE Slimbook pre-order page that I have linked in the description and pre-order one. So the KDE Slimbook 3 will be a magnesium alloy case. It'll be 20 millimeters thin and it will ship with a AMD Ryzen 7 4800H processor, eight cores, 16 threads, up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and that runs at 3200 megahertz, by the way, three USB ports, a USB-C port, an HDMI port, and RJ45 for wired network connections, as well as support for the new Wi-Fi 6 standard. Now there's gonna be a 14 inch version that weighs 1.1 kilograms and then a 15.6 inch version that weighs, ah, let, let me check my notes, 1.5 kilograms. And both of these feature uh, full HD IPS LED displays with a 100% sRGB color range. But let's not forget that the AMD Ryzen 4000 chip also packs Vega graphics. So on the graphics side, you're gonna get seven GPU cores clocked at 1600 megahertz. Now that's not gonna come close to matching your beefy dedicated graphics card, but it is going to outclass Intel's integrated graphics and it's gonna give you pretty, I would say entry level uh, gaming performance and of course great GPU compute performance also. So let me run down exactly what you get in the base model of the KDE Slimbook. It's going to be the 14 inch version. It starts at 899 euros and you're going to get, of course, the AMD Ryzen 4800H and that comes with a 2.9 gigahertz base clock and it ramps all the way up to a 4.2 gigahertz maximum boost clock. Your base storage is going to be an NVMe SSD. I'm not sure what size it is, though. I'm going to guess it's in the 250 gigabyte range. I also believe that your baseline memory is going to be 8 gigabytes of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. And then of course you have a 47 watt hour battery and they claim up to five hours of battery life with real world usage. Now Slimbook is a European based Linux company, but they ship their laptops practically worldwide. And they offer a wide range of keyboard options, including German, Spanish, French, and English. I am super excited about this new KDE Slimbook for probably the same reasons that you guys are. You know, number one, that, that Ryzen 4000 performance is going to rock. And number two, this is a huge, huge step up from the last generation KDE Slimbook, which I believe maxed out with a quad-core Intel i5 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this now becomes, you know, it's your entry-level gaming laptop. It's a, um, a great developer laptop. It's great for graphic artists, for video editors. It has such a wide range of use cases now that it has such, you know, that much beefier hardware in a nice little form factor too. Hello from a random forest in Croatia, by the way. Um, as I continue my recovery from Legionnaire's disease, my wife thought it would be great to get some sea air. You know, sea air is gonna be great for the lungs, hopefully speed up the recovery a little bit. But recovery doesn't mean that I'm not gonna 
find an excuse to, you know, share some awesome Linux news. But right now, I'm going to wrap this up, and uh, the sea is right there. I'm going to go for a swim. So anyway, uh, thanks for being here again. I appreciate all you guys. And until we chat again, check out that KDE Slim book. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And most importantly, take care and take care of each other. I'm going to go for a dip.